Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone Welcome back In this video you're gonna learn the most common 50 Egyptian phrases that we use every single day in Egypt Are you ready? Let's get started Yalla bina The first word, the most common greeting phrase ever Assalamu alaikum Hello. Easy, Azizi. Hello. Next one. Goodbye. Ma'as salama. Ma'as salama. Next one. How is that going? We got many questions that mean how is that going? Amile. Zayak. El akbar. Akbarake. Of course, these questions are uh, like for masculine, singular masculine. Well, if you want to change it to feminine, because I know some of you who are watching me right now are females. So let's change these questions to females. If you're asking a female, how are you or how is that going? You're gonna add ta marbuta at the end. It's very easy, Azizi. Amla a. For Zayak here, you're gonna add, you're gonna change the, sh the the short vowel. Zayak. You're not gonna say Zayak. You're gonna say Zayak. Elakbar. Elakbar literally means what's the new. What's new? El Akbar. So we don't have to change it. We will keep it the same. Even if you're asking a female, we will keep it the same. Akhbarak e. So the word Akhbarak, what's your new? And we got a pronoun here, attached pronoun. We're going to change it to female attached pronoun. Akhbarik e. Akhbarik e. That's right. Let's keep going. Fine. Everything's good. Fine. Everything's good. Kwayis. Kullu tamam. So kullu tamam means everything's good. And the word alhamdulillah means all praise be to Allah. Excuse me. Bad iznak. Excuse me. Bad iznak. Sorry. Sorry here. Do not look at this translation right here because it's wrong. I'm sorry. How do you say I'm sorry in Egyptian Arabic? Ana asif. Ana asif. Asif means sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. Lau samahat. If you're telling this phrase to a female, it's gonna be lau samahti. Let's go to this most common. Let's go to this common phrase. Excuse me. I want to tell you something. Excuse me. I want to tell you something. Aiz aulak haga bad iznak. عايز أقول لك حاجة بعد إذنك. Let's go to the next one. Hi driver. Not hi. Hey driver. So driver in in Arabic or in Egyptian Arabic to be more specific is yasta. I've made a video about this word because it's like uh, this word got different meanings. One of these meaning is driver. So if you want to stop a taxi driver, hey, driver, stop. Yasta. Keep it in your mind. Yasta. Yasta. Let's go to the next one. Sir. Sir. It's a very common word in Egyptian Arabic. We use it a lot in formal meetings, formal conversations. Sir. Hadritak. If you're talking to a man, 
if you're talking to a female حضرتك. so if you if you found yourself in a formal meeting like job meeting like formal conversation you can add the word حضرتك to the before the name حضرتك or you can even say only the word حضرتك let me give an example you're talking to your boss job your your job manager and you say uh i want to have a vacation so حضرتك sir عايز اجازه i want a vacation uh, like uh, days off عايز اجازه حضرتك عايز اجازه وحضرتك يا استاذ which mean استاذ mister so keep this word in your mind because egyptian people are very polite and they use this word a lot even with strangers حضرتك وحضرتك what is this please ايه ده ايه ده what is this من فضلك please how much is this how much is this how much is this بكم ده بكم ده let's go to this common phrase I want أنا عايز if the talking person is a female you're gonna add تأمر وتأدي the word عايز to be أنا عايزة أنا عايزة it's too expensive غالي أوي let's say it again غالي أوي it's too much كتير أوي yeah I will pay أنا بدفع so here it's wrong it should be أنا هدفع I will pay أنا هدفع you can say أنا بدفع but this is present verb all right let's go to the to this very important word in Egyptian Arabic okay as you see here we got like four words that mean okay ماشي طيب تمام okay even okay we say okay okay like in English yes of course thank you أيوة طبعا all right yes of course thank you yes is أيوة of course طبعا and thank you شكرا but here the word طبعا should be طا not تا we didn't say تا this is uh, wrong if you say طبعا this is wrong of course <laughs> طبعا it should be طا should be طا no sorry thank you لا آسف شكرا you're welcome عفوا so how do you say you're welcome عفوا easy عزيزي let's go the next one which is very important may I please like can I ممكن ممكن some examples may I take a photo here ممكن أخذ صورة هنا ممكن أخذ صورة هنا if you want me to analyze this question ممكن is can I or may I أخذ take صورة photo here هنا but we don't say هنا 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 is a standard word هنا ممكن أخذ صورة هنا another example ممكن أشوف من فضلك can I see can I have a look please ممكن أشوف من فضلك ممكن أدخل من هنا can I go in here in from here ممكن أدخل من هنا أنا عايز أشوف بس another common phrase in Egyptian Arabic I just want to look أنا عايز أشوف بس as we mentioned previously at the word عايز and boom 
you got the feminine word I want أنا عايزة أنا عايز أشوف بس I want to look I want I want I just want to look شكرا thanks ألف شكر which is a very funny word and also a very common word two words in Egyptian Arabic means a thousand thanks too many thanks ألف شك keep it in your mind ألف شكر فين ده where is this like فين الحمام من فضلك where is the bathroom please فين الحمام من فضلك so من فضلك is please فين الحمام من فضلك فين الحمام من فضلك I go this way بروح زي كده straight ahead على طول like go straight ahead if you've been asked about direction and you give some directions you say go straight ahead امشي على طول alright let's go to our next word finished it's over I'm done here it's like uh, finished خلاص you can say خلاص done it's over I'm done it's a very funny word <laughs> I've made a video about this word you can you can watch it I don't need this أنا مش محتاج ده أنا مش محتاج ده if you are a female, you're gonna add ta murbuta at the at the end of the word mehtak and you're gonna get it mehtaga. I don't know. Ana mish arif or ana mish arfa. The last phrase. Please go ahead, please sit, please take this. It fadal. And the last word is very is a very common word in Egyptian Arabic. It fadal, it fadal, it fadal. So these words came from a website called Discover, uh, discomfort.com. You can get these word phrases from this website, but of course they got some mistakes. At the end of our video, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. And do not forget to press like if you like this video or even press dislike if you don't like this video leave your comments and if you would like to get online lessons with me with Mr. Bakur contact me through my whatsapp number you can get my whatsapp number from the first comment have a good day